Hi there everybody, this is Joe from eCommerce Platforms and today we're going to be talking about how you can set up your own eCommerce online site in just under 15 minutes. So we're going to be working through the Shopify eCommerce platform but as you can see on this page you can actually choose from various different platforms such as BigCommerce, Volusion, Squarespace, or AmeriCommerce um, but Shopify is a great choice because of its features, ease of use, pricing, templates and design, and various other features that come along with the product. Um, another reason we're choosing Shopify is because they give you a 14-day trial. So that's nice to play around with your shop uh, in case you find something wrong with it or you feel like some other platform might be better for you. Um, it's also a completely online based system so you don't have to worry about downloading any local software that might just clutter up your computer or just make it more difficult to get your site online. So to get started let's say that you're sitting around with a sweet new product idea and you want to start selling it online. We're gonna go with Shopify here um, so what we're gonna do is start by going to the Shopify website and that's at Shopify.com. Pretty simple here. Um, that's going to bring you to their main page where you can scroll around and see the various different options such as pricing. They have a nice blog and tons of different resources to help you get set up. Um, but to get started, all we have to do is type in an email address and click the Get Started button. Uh, so I actually have uh, just a test email here to get us started and that will bring up a brand new page that asks us for a password and your store name. Now the password can be whatever you want. You obviously want to remember that in the future and your store name should be unique and something that you might actually want to change later. You can always change it later so if you can't think of something great right now feel free to type in whatever you want. I'm gonna do Joe store and create your store. So that actually tells me that the name already exists. So you can't duplicate something that's already in their system. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead in here and make it Joe's awesome store and create your store. And once again, so we're gonna go with Joe's cool store. And right now what it's doing is processing your site. Uh, after you click that button, you just have to wait a few seconds for the system to process your store. And then you can select whether you would like to sell online or with the Shopify retail POS system. And the POS system is actually pretty cool where you can use an iPad checkout system in your store. But for right now, we're not assuming that we have a brick and mortar store. So we're just going to go with the online store. So we can scroll down here and click next and move on to the next page. On this page, you can fill in your name along with your address and contact information. Um, so I'm just going to uh, type in just a little bit of information. Most of it's going to be fake. And Chicago, United States, Illinois. You can type in your phone number. And that will only be used to identify your store if you call Shopify support. So don't think that they're going to be selling that information. After you fill out all your personal information, you can click the next button. And remember that this is mainly to set up your currencies and tax rates in your area. So we'll click the next button. And this page asks you to tell Shopify a little bit about yourself. Now this is primarily for them to get feedback from their customers and figure out how to make their product a little bit better. So you can tell them if you're already selling and I'm just going to say I'm just playing around right now but you have various other options um, and you can also let Shopify know how much you expect to make with the business. Uh, so you can select one of those options and then are you setting up a store for a client? I'm not going to check that because there's no need to, but if you plan on having a business where you create different websites for say 10 or 20 different clients, then you can let Shopify know uh, to better your experience. So we can click on the enter my store button. And that brings us to the main Shopify dashboard. And this brings us to step 
the main step two, which is launching your store. Now that you're in the dashboard, you can actually see how it looks similar to what WordPress looks like. So if you are familiar with WordPress, then it might be a little bit easier for you to move around. Um, but basically, we can look on the left side on the taskbar to see things like the dashboard, orders, customers, products, collections, all sorts of things that will allow you to get your shop online quickly. Um, and they also have a nice little area here. This is actually pretty sweet where they walk you through every single step up to launching your store. So that's what we're going to do. We're just going to walk through this and add a product to see it in your store. So click on the add product button. And this brings up a title, description, type, vendor, all sorts of options to fill in your product. So for this, for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to pretend that I'm selling electronics. My first product is the HP Chromebook uh, 14. And for that, I'm going to copy just a little description that I stole from Amazon, since I'm not going to actually be selling anything here. And then you can choose a type and vendor. So we might do something like HP, Apple, or Shopify, uh, just to let people know where you're getting this product from. And then the type is going to differentiate this product from other, other different groups of products. Uh, so I might do computers. And the cool thing about this is that you can see examples for all of these little headers here, so bicycles or t-shirts. Um, so they kind of guide you through the process. And then of course you can type in the price say about $300 and a compare at price so you can let people know that uh, they're saving a little bit of money. Then of course you can fill in options like the SKU number, a barcode, and then you can charge taxes and require shipping depending on the type of store that you're running. So let's say we have a little SKU number here. Um, I'm not going to punch in a barcode right now, uh, but we'll check off that we're going to charge taxes and that we require shipping. Uh, so the weight might need to be punched in, the unit, and they have a nice little feature here for the inventory policy. Um, and this basically allows you to track your inventory on the site. So you can allow customers to purchase the item even if it's no longer in stock. Um, you can also make it so that the product has multiple options such as sizes or colors. And then if we scroll down just a little bit further, we'll see an area for images. Now this is going to be your product image. So all you have to do, is save a project, product image to your website and upload it. And then the collections are used to group products together. So let's say you run a clothing company and you have shirts and pants and uh, jackets. You can separate those collections by creating a collection right here. Um, I'm not going to create a collection, but you can kind of go in here and add one if you want. And then the, and then the uh, tags are going to be used to categorize your products with things such as color, size, and material. Um, so you can always type in tags, and those help your customers search for the products and find them a little bit easier uh, when they get to your store. One of the final areas in the add a product section is for the search engines. Now, it automatically pulls the page title and meta description, but let's say that I forgot to include some keywords that might make my search engine rankings go up a little bit. Well, I can go in here and change that up. And you can also modify the URL and handle uh, depending on when you uh, publish your site and what you want it to actually look like towards the end of your URL. And the final option is just to make your site with this product visible as opposed to hidden. Um, and they actually have a nice little feature here called set a specific publish date, which is a nice feature if you, you know, don't plan on getting your site up right now, uh, but you want to have it published online in the future. So once we're done with that, we can click on the blue button over here. And that will save our product. So it'll say, congratulations, you've added your first product. View your dashboard to continue setting up your store. And so we'll click on that link and see that the next step in the process is to customize the look of your website. We'll click on the edit theme option and you'll see a slew of features and, and buttons and options to change around 
with your theme. And basically, this area is all about customization. So it's really up to you on how you want to design the storefront and make it look. I would recommend starting off by uploading an image, at least, for your website. So you can use a custom logo, choose a file. I'm just going to throw the e-commerce platforms uh, logo on there. You can also do a custom icon for your browser, maybe change where the uh, logo is going to be placed and then change just about anything from text color to button text color and using a background image. So there are lots of tabs down here you can click on and, and modify. You know, there's home page, collection page, product page. So once you have that all ready to go, you can, you can play around with these settings as much as you want, but once you're done, they have a button over here called preview and new window. And I would highly recommend clicking on this, you know, whenever you change something in your store. And this will give you a nice little view of what your site looks like right now. So obviously this is a pretty minimalist website right now. But you can see our logo and our product and see how things are coming along with the site. You can also click on the visit the theme store uh, button over here which is a pretty interesting store because you can choose a theme if you want instead of designing from scratch. So they have themes that are priced differently, obviously, uh, but some of them are free. Some of them you'll have to pay a little money, such as this one, like $150. Um, so feel free to browse through those and choose a previously designed theme if you'd like. Then the next step here is to publish your changes. Uh, so you just want to go to this button up here and click the publish changes blue button and that will publish it to your website or at least your temporary website. Uh, by default your temporary store runs on a domain that looks uh, something like well right up here Joe's Cool Store dot myshopify.com so it will always have that myshopify.com little subset um, that will specify that it is a temporary store so once we're done with that we're going to have to actually purchase or transfer a domain to make the store official and for that we can go back to the dashboard and see that we've completed the second step. So now we can set up your domain, click on the add a domain button, and specify whether we want to register a new domain or add a domain I already own. So let's say you bought something from godaddy.com or somewhere else, you can just type it in and transfer it over to Spotify, uh, Shopify. Or you can register a new donate, domain name and fill it out and select how much you want to pay for per year and what type of common domain you want to use. And then you can always check the availability to see if it's actually up and not being used somewhere else. So this is where you're going to have to actually whip out your credit card and maybe pay some money depending on what you plan on doing here. Uh, Punching your credit card information after you find a domain that it's available. Confirm the purchase. And once that is all done, you can go back to the dashboard and launch your store. So I'm not going to purchase a domain right now, uh, but we can go back to the dashboard and check out our store a little bit more. Um, to clarify some of the pricing options, we can go to the Shopify site and see that the basic plan is for $29 a month. Professional $79, Unlimited is $179. I would recommend going with the basic and seeing how it goes. Um, and then you can always upgrade depending on how big your site gets. All right, so the last step is going to be to manage your payment processing system. Although you have already set up your new online store, you still have to understand the payment processing system. In order to set up your payment processing system, you have to go to Settings, and then payments on the left hand side. The default payment processing option is called Shopify Payments and it is powered through Stripe. 
Um, so this basically accepts your credit cards directly through Shopify. Um, but you also have the options to choose something like PayPal or any alternative payment features such as BitPay or GoCoin. Um, and I would recommend going with the Shopify payments option because you'll probably get a little bit better support since it's directly through Shopify and it's clearly uh, seamlessly integrated with Shopify so you know you probably won't have any problems. And uh, once you hit the complete Shopify payments account setup button, this will bring you to a new page that basically lets you fill in all your information. So we can start with the business details and tell Shopify your, your business type, or maybe you're a sole proprietorship. You can estimate your average order. There's all sorts of options in here. We're not going to walk through all of them, uh, but some of the main ones include the banking information at the bottom, so your routing number, account number that you can get from a, a check that you have from your bank, and then of course your social security number, which is essential in your personal details. So once that's all set up, you can actually start accepting payments for the products that you sell. And if you complete the complete, if you click on the uh, complete account setup option, that will you know verify everything that's being done. All right, so that's just about everything you have to know for setting up your Shopify online store. Uh, once you're completely done with everything, there is a button down here to launch your store. Um, so you can click on that and then it will go to the brand new domain that you purchased or you transferred over or um, you can even schedule your domain to be launched sometime into the future. So that's setting up your online store in under 15 minutes, maybe give or, a few, a few min give or take a few minutes. Um, but there are various other options that take more than 15 minutes such as add-ons and support. Um, as you can see on the left-hand side, you can add blog posts, pages, different navigation items. So if you want to include different buttons at the top of your website, that's all available. You can also incorporate discounts and gift cards and checkout reports. Um, so basically everything is going to be here on the left-hand side of your website um, that you can access and play around with. Um, and you can feel free to check out the Shopify App Store. Uh, which you can actually just go to the Shopify website and check out their app store, view their blog. Um, I believe it's located in the uh, resources area. Uh, yeah, so you can go to the app store in the resources area, which is pretty nice because it's just like WordPress where you can include these different add-ons, they call them apps, um, that can give your site all sorts of different functionality such as coupons or uh, let's see what else we got here. Sales, social media, shipping, lots of stuff like that. And then feel free to peruse the Shopify documentation, which basically talks about everything that you need to know about your site. They are very good at helping you out. So if you have a question, you can email the support team or you can go in here and check out one of the many manuals that they have for setting up something like a POS iPad app designing themes, developing apps, all sorts of cool stuff like that that can help you get on your feet with your Shopify store. All right, so that's just about it when it comes to setting up an online store through Shopify in under, under 15 minutes. So congratulations, you now have a fully functional online shop. If you have any questions, feel free to shoot us an email or leave us a comment in the section below. Thanks.